Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough with the Iron Teeth faction. We're here in cycle 12, day 18, in the midst of a drought yet again, because we have not had a bad tide yet. But don't worry, I have confirmed the save is not broken. Uh, after recording uh, yesterday's video, I let the game run for another 30-45 minutes or so, and we did eventually get a bad tide. So we know it's possible, but uh, right now we're rolled it back. This is exactly where we left off last time, so... We'll have to see what the RNG decides to give us. That being said, there's still plenty we can do today to prepare for that. Like the very first thing we're going to do, take out this deep water pump and instead replace it with a deep bad water pump, which we will place right here. And that's going to allow us to siphon off some of the bad water and get it stored here, which we will now, of course, change back to bad water and everything should be good to go. But the fun thing is going to be to see just how much of this area dries up and dies as a result of the uh, the bad water coming in. Don't know exactly how it's going to affect everything, but I know it's going to be interesting whenever it does happen, so we'll have to make sure that we're paying attention for that. Other things we want to do today, uh, upgrade some storage for some food, and we want to uh, try and get this area over here uh, maybe built out a little bit, try and harness some of this flowing bad water for power purposes. Uh, this currently is blocked off because of our power shafts, but as uh, some of you pointed out, we do have space here to build a pass-through. So I figured one of the easy things we could do is just have a path come through here, and uh, we could sacrifice two of these things, but we don't need to have this built right quite yet so we'll let these cassava continue growing and eventually replace them with a pathway connecting here which actually we probably could uh probably could do a little bit better by moving this back one and uh, having that taken care of that way but what that's going to do is allow us to come right down here uh, we will lose this staircase which uh, honestly is fine because we weren't really doing anything with it anyway but once we have pretty uh, pretty convenient direct access from the middle of our district all the way down here we're going to be able to maybe have a second district for the purpose of a little bit more industrial capacity uh, possibly some tree farming because these trees don't seem to care about the bad water being right here because they're so far up so that that gives me a little bit of hope that we might not be affected quite as much as we originally thought uh, other things we could take into consideration uh, remember me saying, uh, I think it was last episode, that uh, this area right here needs to have an overflow into our swimming pool. And I wasn't going to mess with it until we were in a drought. And we're in a drought, so yeah, this is also completely empty. So now's the, uh, now's the time to do this. We're going to go ahead and take this block out and replace it with a dam. And that's going to allow water to overflow out of here, just like it's coming out of this side fill our pool back up and then what we can do once we have uh, dynamite is we can go ahead and blast out one of these and then have the water go completely just right through and it'll be a-okay but we can't do that till we have bad water and we're either going to wait for the bad tide or when we get down here we can start pumping out of this area but we haven't gotten either of those places yet so that is something we are going to have to wait on so let's go ahead Put this thing in turbo mode, three times speed, and uh, get rocking and rolling here. You'll notice our fermented soybean storage is almost full, which is fantastic. Love to see that. And as far as other food is concerned, our fermented cassava could use a lot more capacity. Even though it's not full, we do have, uh, once this whole area is completely up and running, we do have four of these dedicated to fermented cassava production. So we will be able to supply all of that. And we also have our uh, we have our algae and we have our mushrooms to contend with as well. So we probably should be moving toward larger quantities of storage for all of these things. And that is what we're going to do. So we have this space right here. We have storage for fermented cassava, canola seeds, regular cassava, and more fermented cassava. I think we should just replace this with three of these large warehouses, take out this middle path, and just uh, have this go whoop, straight across. And I think that's going to be... Um, yeah, we have so much food. Let's just go ahead and do that. Just 
rip that band-aid off. Root and stem. Well, band-aids don't have root and stem. Um, you get what I'm saying. If we have this face this way... You know what? No, we actually want this to face the other way. Because... We want the beavers who are living in these houses, or barracks, whatever, to be able to access that. We also could use this for planting, but I, I just, I'm really not that concerned about it. The, the, amount, the amount of stuff we're making so far is perfectly fine with what we have access to. So that's going to work A-OK. -okay. So fermented soybeans there. I will make this into fermented cassava, which is right there. Uh, canola seeds. We probably don't need to devote a huge storage to. We can just make one of those smaller ones. So instead... I'm going to start storing the other foods in these large, uh, large containers here. We have kohlrabi in the 200 capacity and berries in the 200 capacity, but we don't have a lot of berries. We also don't need a lot of berries, so I'm not going to mess with those, but uh, fermented cassava, fermented soybeans, kohlrabi's just because, you know, we probably should have those for emergency purposes. And then this last one, uh, we can either do mangrove fruits or we can do fermented mushrooms. Or we could pick one of our new uh, rations, but I don't think. Yeah, there you go. I just, I don't think. Good meme. Um, mangrove fruits probably don't need to have 1,200 of those. And we also don't have the packing plant, so we don't need to store 1,200 of those to keep a, uh, a backup supply. So based on production, we're not going to have enough mushrooms to fill one of these up. We don't really have enough mangroves to fill this up either, but we also, uh, where where are those things? I don't even see mangrove fruits on here at all. So what's up with that? Because so we have plenty to harvest. I guess our guy is just a little busy. Well, for right now, for right now I'll just do mangrove fruits because there's no reason not to. So that's going to be berries there. We already have... Eggplant rations stored there. We have gears stored here. Fermented mushrooms, corn rations. Uh, we don't have any algae ration storage, as far as I can remember. So this actually. Oh, should I just should I just get rid of this and make twelve hundred berry storage? I feel like that's going to kind of be the right thing to do. I also realize that I have started constructing large things that require planks when we don't have any planks. So, um, yeah, that was not smart. <laughs> Whatever. We're fine. We're going to have a good time. Um, putting, the, putting the larger storage here, I think, is going to actually be the better move long term. We're just uh, getting an advance on that right now. So we have three days left in the drought. They got some time to uh, get stuff figured out. Unfortunately, there is no longer any flow for uh, water to get this thing going. So it just kind of is what it is. We do what we can. We still have 1,200 water despite a lot of these being empty. We're importing stuff up here just fine. Uh, the entrance to this water tank is on this side, so that's okay. And I also want to research and build our Flame of Unity up here we do not have enough stuff to make it because well none of this has power and that's kind of the whole thing that we're attempting to fix is uh, not having power by having uh well more power to store up and eventually put gravity batteries on which is another thing i want to get to today if i can figure out a good way to do it without it being completely ridiculously ugly jury's still out on whether or not i can accomplish that so I think the best way to do that is going to be to have uh, these big, tall cliff faces here. Well, okay, it's not that tall. It's, what, six, uh, six units tall. That's not really that much. But it is something. And we've got access to those. I miss the flywheels, but we don't have any mods yet. I imagine some of them probably work. Uh, we are going to try and do as much as we can without the mods. And then either add mods or start a new series in a harder difficulty with mods. But we've got plenty to accomplish before we even have to start worrying about that. So I'm going to choose not to get bent out of shape over it. That being said, there's really not that much else we can do right now. We just kind of have to wait. And the bad water pump needs metal blocks. Which we cannot make currently because, again, there's no power. So... 
You know how this goes. Just got to hurry up and wait. Everything needs planks. Everything needs power. So since we're here, uh, we can still take a look at how things are uh, working with our other stuff. We have 55 open beds, which is good. I don't want to build another one of these uh, barracks for a while. I feel like we could probably accomplish most of what we want to do with this playthrough with about 130, 140 beavers, especially once we get into bots. And now that bots aren't necessary to do terraforming, I don't know, it kind of feels like the bots are going to be a little bit less of a, uh, a stressful imperative, if you will. So our friend here, the Gatherer Flag, uh, doesn't really seem like he's able to keep up with everything. So I kind of want to put a second one in. You know, that might be kind of uh, might be kind of superfluous. But eventually we're going to have the extra workers to take care of it. We just have to uh, have to get a few more beavers in. I think uh, what was the the next well-being jump? Is at what twenty-five? Okay, uh, you're not even an adult yet, so we can't really do anything with you. All right, there you go. So you get a bonus to longevity at well-being 27, another 20%. So that's quite a while to go, and uh, that's kind of why I haven't been focusing on a lot of the uh, aesthetic type stuff, because all of those don't really add that much. You're better off putting the monuments in and trying some of the, uh, the fun stuff and especially getting food taken care of. That's going to be a very good boost, as well as wet fur which is accomplished by showers and swimming pools and all sorts of stuff like that. So we're going to get to all that. We just have to be able to take care of the essential things first. And yes, we do have a lot of our food that is edible, laying on the ground, unable to be consumed because we are waiting on planks. But don't worry, as soon as this drought is over, we'll be back to making planks. and It'll be right as rain within a decent amount of time. But I really do want to know if cycle 13 is going to give us a bad tide. Because we've been patiently waiting this whole time. And look, this uh, dam piece is in. So that's going to work nicely. Uh, of course, once we get rid of that, then we can get rid of this fluid dump, save a beaver job. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Save a beaver job. And then we could probably, uh, probably just have another one of these gather flags down here to help, well, gather. Makes sense, because we have all these berries up here. That's fine. That's looking good. And we should have water coming back in, and yep, here it goes. Here come the water wheels turning. And this hasn't been harvested yet, because they haven't had anywhere <laughs> haven't had anywhere to put the cassava. So that's uh, that's fine. But things are going to be roaring back to life. Hopefully very, very soon. What's this waiting on? One metal block. Uh, recipe, need to set that for algae rations. Because I think we do have algae. Yep, we sure do. We have 70 sitting and waiting. So that's all well and good. Our hauling post is fully staffed. Um, I guess I could just look at the jobs thing. I never, I never do this. I never do it. I probably should. Uh, yeah, the... We should probably have all of our food producing buildings uh, prioritized by haulers and everything. We just need to have more haulers. So our people working there, people, beavers, whatever, uh, don't have to worry about transporting stuff. For right now, though, I think stuff is working just fine. I am going to prioritize lumber mill just so we can get that going again. These guys going back to work. Stuff's going just fine. Oh no, it's all flooded down here. What are you gonna do? Well, there's not really, uh, not really much you can do until I can uh, detonate stuff down here. But we gotta wait because we don't have a dynamite. We can't unlock it though. So we're going to. Uh... Oh, they changed the shape. That's kind of cool. Looks a little bit more like dynamite and less like a, a big cluster of a uh, cluster of fun. But we gotta wait for bad water. Which, uh, well, once they have this built across, we could start harvesting. I think I'd rather just have this complete. And it looks like that's about to be done anyway. So that's looking fine. And most of the rest of this stuff. Why is this only turning? 
Why is this turning backwards? That should be going the other way. Yeah, because these are these are spinning quite fast. There it goes. There we go. Okay, come on, you can do it. Maybe you can't. I know this is kind of a weird, um, kind of a weird spot. Oh, I meant to build this one block further this way. That's what it was. That's the problem. Okay, well. Uh, well, eh, nobody's perfect. It happens. But the good news is we can harvest these planks and use them for other things because even if it's not generating power... Uh, okay, they're a little behind, but they're not that far behind. I just made a mistake here. That needed to be there. Because if I put this here, then the water actually has to flow through it instead of just kind of flowing around it a little bit. We have that going there. Also means we could have another one of these uh, fermenters in place. But now, now this is not as much of a priority to get built as the other things. In fact, I'm going to repause this just to be sure. Now we're up to 21. Very nice. Uh, the other food storage getting rebuilt should uh, boost our well-being way back up because we did get it a lot higher last episode. It's just kind of kind of come down a little bit. Not to worry, though. So we should see, as far as construction is concerned, we should see... Uh, oh, well, they actually can't get to it. Never mind. Yeah, but they're harvesting here. I wonder, should I... Oh, uh, no, that's going to have to be attached to a... Uh, what do you call it? A path, if I were to do that. So I guess... Guess I'll just do this. Now, I can't have this go like this, or I could have this come back one more block and be a little bit more of a streamlined path. Probably going to want to do that eventually, but I, I really want to get down to this other side here. So to that end, I guess... Oh, I need to see if I can get this to go to go down or at least come over somewhere where they can pick this up. So what can I uh, what can I build here that's going to move it? Small warehouse. Yep, there we go. Uh, they're still not able to reach that, so... Let's see. I think I can fit a medical bed. Yes, that's what I wanted. And now they can reach it. Cool. Now I don't have to feel bad about it. That's going to go. That's going to go. 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 And now we need to have some stairs coming down this way. Uh, we're going to do high power shafts here and here. And then the uh, regular path go through. So this could be something that takes us a while to build just because of well how this stuff always works. But I think we're going to want to go uh, just go down kind of this way. And then build out this way. So if we take a look and see just how this is fitting here. There we go. I do miss my ladders. I really do. So now that gives us space here to build some other stuff if we want. And we can have these housing uh, things occupied, but we don't need the space. So I think we can choose to not uh, be beholden to that. But look at this. This is exciting right here because, well, this isn't complete. Um, it's not complete bad water, but this is going to be a substantially higher speed of movement. That's always going to be flowing to some degree because we have bad water coming in, but good water too. So we could put in some power wheels here. Power wheels large water wheels. The only problem is uh, this is currently too high. And I don't think I want to build levees at the bottom to push this up because then that's... Actually, no. I don't think we care. So how how many... Uh... Yeah, I would have to... Well, I wouldn't have to, but I'd want to put 
two levels of uh, levee right here, which would flood all of this. Uh, but the speed... Oh, that would flood all this back here. Okay, but that would be an exit, though. So maybe we maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we just want to blast this down instead. I know, here I go again, trying to uh, make excuses for not building permanent power supply stuff. Not that big of a deal. We'll get it figured out. But they still do have to build platforms across here. And then we've got to unhook all of this power from this side. Although I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem, honestly. Now that we have these uh, all connected right here. So, um, do we have the materials to make two of these in quick succession? I haven't even researched it. All right, now it's researched. Yeah, we got gears, uh, planks. Uh, we should, should have planks. It's not like they take forever to make. We just have to be a little bit uh, intentional with what we prioritize and where. So that would be there. I'd have to build another platform. So I'd have to have six, eight. I think it's fine. So let's just uh, let's just bite the bullet and do it. Stick this guy here. Stick this guy here. Stick this guy here. Stick this guy. Why do I? Oh, okay. I had my uh, thing on not infinity mode. Set that to go right there, and then we can come back to this area. And um, this is a mixed flow, so having a bad water pump here is not going to be 100% efficient, but it does allow us to collect bad water. Uh, I, I could say 24-7, but I don't know how beavers measure weeks. I think they just go off of cycles. Do we have metal? We do. So I, I, I think probably the smart thing to do is... Uh, just have one of these guys at the end pumping away and we could have storage down here maybe we could even just have a giant one because this oh this actually could be a bad water processing area down at the bottom here because we're definitely going to want to have a lot of that we have um actually that should be for extract we can have the uh bad water itself stored in smaller tanks so we could have uh, bad water. Actually, bad water here, good water here for drinking purposes. And now we can kind of think about how we want to have the rest of this set up because uh, stream gauges we're going to want to have eventually. Uh, centrifuges require power, which uh, we could easily harness by, you know, doing some of this stuff. But I would want to... Oh, uh, see, if, if we block this... To raise the level, that's going to cause issues. So the better thing is actually to just come down here and uh, it just just place some water wheels like this. That's the thing that makes sense. But uh, I can't place it in that exact block because the power supply is going to get uh, going to get stuck somewhere. And this is not high enough. But this one right here might actually uh, might actually turn. Might be good. Uh, this isn't going to fit, unfortunately. It would fit if I moved this other guy down there, but then I couldn't connect anything without having a beaver go down in the water to actually, you know, hook stuff up. So it appears that for now... Oh, I, I you know, I probably shouldn't have built this here. I probably should have built this down here. Because this is all good water coming out of here. This will always be mixed. This will always be mixed. This is pure bad water, but it is it is a little far away. No matter, though, we can run power wherever it needs to go. We just need to think about it a little bit. And I don't have vertical power shafts, so I guess... I guess I really do have to have this all uh, kind of set up in this way here. Now, I, I could cheese it with the uh, the row houses. We are eventually going to use these. Don't worry. We'll use them. There just has to be a way for the beavers to survive down here. And we're not quite there yet. So, I th yeah, I think we'll just... We'll just commit to doing this. 
just have this go up there and connect right into the side of a whole processing complex for our bad water with the centrifuges. And these buildings are kind of cool. I think they have to connect in the center to, uh, well, they have to connect in the center to really process much of anything. So that's going to be another one of those things where I, <laughs> I've got to build some sort of weird, weird thing just for the purpose of, <gasps> look at that, it's red. The bad tide is real. Finally. Finally. I've been trying to catch you boys <laughs> all day. Cycle 13 is going to be the bad tide. All right. Well, this is exciting because uh, we're actually going to be able to harvest stuff now. And this one can be up here to store bad water. Although we probably don't need it except for down here. We'll figure it out. I am excited for this. I think that's going to be fun. But we can have our processing. Uh, we, we don't have to have everything here, but I just kind of like the idea of having the areas that are not irrigated be used for processing stuff, and we can plant some more trees or crops or something over here. So, like I said, um, centrifuges. How many? Okay. 0.1 log? What? I guess that's... Um, they still use logs as fuel even though they have power I, I don't know but they have to be able to get down here first man I miss ladders so much um, yeah so this is ugly we already knew that um, that is going to unfortunately require a little bit of shall we say less than aesthetically minded uh, building choices here we just got to get down here to actually construct water wheels and utilize all this stuff. But this is looking good. And uh, we can start thinking about building gravity batteries. Although if we can get this to be, uh, oh, you know what? You know what? This is going to be, instead of the curve, uh, should I, uh, do, do I dare just have this go straight the way over here? Is that perfectly lined up with the, uh, no, it is not. It's one block off. Well, that's fine. Nobody's perfect. We can just have this kind of, uh, go in there. Now I know, I know this is, uh, intended to provide power coming down. So maybe, maybe we just want to have this come in this way. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Ah. <laughs> Oh, I should have. I should have planned. I should have planned around this. I should have made these single tall. Not exactly thinking 100% uh, clearly here, which is unfortunate. Well, we'll get it figured out. We got bad water, which means actually I can. Uh, yeah, I can turn on our explosives factor. I should have done that much earlier because this is. Yeah, we got we got a little bit there. So, you know, before we actually construct any of this, I I know, I know someone is absolutely dying watching this video, seeing me um, pause and unpause and all of that stuff. So just be patient. <laughs> Your patience will be rewarded eventually when we get the uh, bad tide stuff properly done. So. 0.3 days. I don't know when it actually changes over, uh, but we're going to need to... I'm going to go ahead and shove this up to 1.5, so I can just yank this all the way up to 3 as soon as that's done, but we do still need to make sure water is flowing because, well, we got uh, we got some stuff to do. And I don't have nearly enough planks to... Uh, <laughs> I don't have nearly enough planks to make this work. But there we go. Up to 3. Bad ties. Oh, that's immediate. Look at this. That is orange. Oh, these trees are dying. The, oh, no, the soybeans are dying. Okay. Oh, no. And the, <laughs> that's going to kill all these, too. That's, wow, that's actually extremely fast. So, we know that's a thing. Hmm. That's 
actually... Oh, that flooded and died. That's why. That's actually substantially worse than I thought it would be. But... But we can... Uh, we can pump out bad water and start uh, storing it up. Maybe. And make extract if we ever get this uh, rocking and rolling here. But yeah, I wanted to have the power go up through this. And <laughs> didn't even... Okay, well, since there's no power anyway... I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole thing and then um, put this back in place. But pause construction on it because we don't need that quite yet. I'm actually going to pause construction on all of this. Except for that because now I can take our thing here and I can actually bridge over the path. Fully connect this. Now that we have water down here, unpause our lumberjack flag, get rid of all these trees, and I can actually send the power completely over uh, this whole thing here. Can make a path come all the way down here and actually have a second staircase connecting all of this. And we can still have our processing over here, we just have to move the power. That will look just fine. Now, this is a lot of platforms to build. We don't have a lot of uh, stuff in the way of planks. So maybe maybe what I'll do instead, for the sake of actually... <laughs> for the sake of actually having, you know, something to uh, utilize, I will just have this go to the side of the path here. I just, man, I miss the vertical power shafts and everything so much. I miss it so much. Uh, what else? What are you, you going to do? Not really uh, not really much of anything you can do. That needs to be there, but that can't go there. So this is going to have to go here, which means it has to be here, which means that has to be here, which means this has to be here, which means this has to be here, which means this has to be here. This has to be here, and now my mouth is tired of saying this has to be here. This is hideous. It's ugly. No beating around the bush. But it is going to work. And I don't have enough uh, planks to do this anyway, so uh, this is all kind of, at least immediately, kind of pointless. But we're still going to do it. Still going to put a couple of these centrifuges in uh, for right now, I will just do the one, and uh, let's see, three here, three here, that'll be fine. We'll just have this whole thing uh, shoved over this way. A, okay. And once I have enough planks next time, we'll be able to take care of that. So, um, yeah, Bad Tide, super cool, orange coming out. Uh, we absolutely are completely overprepared for it, so I guess the challenge is kind of gone. But it's uh, it's killing all of, <laughs> all of our pine trees up here, which I guess isn't that big of a problem because we have the tree farm down here, uh, which we probably should expand. And I think we're going to plant some more trees down here. But what I didn't expect it to do was kill, <laughs> kill off our soybeans. Thank you, email client, for making annoying noises while I'm recording. I appreciate that very much. Um, yeah, so we can put other stuff up here. Probably uh, would make sense to have storage, I guess. Uh, but we got to figure out a solution to stop these... Uh, got to stop these soybeans from dying. And, more importantly, did we make any explosives? Because I uh, don't see... Got plenty of bad water. I don't see any dynamite. That's what I was going to attempt to actually do here. Is uh, detonate this. So, I mean, they gotta have one somewhere because it was running for a decent bit of time. So is, is somebody gonna come uh, come place this so we can blow it up? Planet of the Ape style? Come on, let's go. Nobody's got dynamite? Really? <laughs> After I had this specifically, 
Okay. Oh, man. Yep. We were prepared until we weren't. But that is just how things... What do you mean you can't reach this? Are you serious? Ugh, you clowns. You are joking. Fine. I'll delete that one thing so you can lean one tiny bit closer over here to the power shaft turn. Yeah, build that thing and get out of here. There you go. So that will work there. Put in the 90 degree here. Did I say I miss my ladders and my vertical power shafts yet? Because, oh, this is, um, yeah, it's it's fine. We're, we're getting somewhere. The good news is this is not a uh, mission critical square of path because, well, there's two sets of stairs. So stuff is looking okay. And I don't think... Yep, this can't be replanted because there's no forester uh, in range. And I can't build another one because there is no um, plank available. It looks so bleak when these are empty, but we still have 1,300 water. We're fine. I just cannot wait to have infinite quote-unquote power coming through here. We also can't forget to lower these uh, when the bad tide is done. But yeah, uh, kind of takes away a lot of the challenge when the, the only bad thing is that these uh, these trees die. But that's not that big of a deal. I don't think I'm going to regrow uh, any of these. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of the forester entirely because we can easily turn this into something else. We just have to make sure that we have enough groundwater in place to prevent the uh, soybeans from all dying out. So I think a good way to uh, kind of help combat that will be to put in a water dump somewhere in this general area. I don't want to take up too many slots of uh, soybean growing. But we can also grow up here where these trees currently are. So maybe, you know, maybe it's not that bad of a thing. I don't know how bad water and good water interact in the ground together. Uh, if you have, like, if you have a water dump, for example, is that going to kind of push it back uh, or not? Oh, my God. All right. These people need to stop sending me emails. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't even know what that's about. Well, that's fine. Hope you like the uh, Mozilla Thunderbird default email sound notification. Or maybe I should just change it to a Timberborn sound. That would be kind of funny. Uh, normally, normally that does not go off, but that's muted now, so that can't happen again. All right, 1.2 days left. Uh, we can't do any more construction until we have additional resources. Uh, we need metal blocks and some planks. Centrifuge is almost done, though. And we probably don't need to have uh, these paused either. But we'll see. we still got a little bit of time. I regret that I cannot fix the coffee. But food stores still looking fantastic. Water supply is more than enough. And we are looking good. And this is... Oh, okay, that's because these are drying up. Yep, so we definitely, definitely want to have... Some irrigation happening up here. I think maybe right now. Oh, come on. Maybe right now I want to put the water dump here. I I think I want to blow it up with dynamite. I don't want to have the uh, I don't want to have the levees because that's going to take away too many planting spots. But that will at the very least irrigate uh, most of this area. I don't know if it's going to help repel the bad tide water or not. Jury is still out on that one. But it is exciting to finally get one and uh, understand what it does, even if what it does isn't really that much. <laughs> but that's fine. We've got plenty stored up to play with in the next temperate cycle, which will begin momentarily. So as soon as this starts flowing clear blue again, we'll drop our floodgate and uh, get our power going back again. We just have to make a whole bunch more planks. All right, so now it is almost all purged. 
Almost. See a little bit of orange still, but I think now we're good. All right, down you go. And the, uh, the whatever cracks in the ground with the orange garbage uh, disappear after, I don't know, a couple hours. So that's cool. I am glad to see that that is uh, something we can pretty easily handle. That soybean's ready for harvesting. As is that one, as is that one. And we can finally start making explosives. And we have one. So let's set off the new dynamite for the first time. Yep, same sound. Exactly what I thought. And there we go with the platform. And now we have a beautiful waterfall right through the stairs <laughs> to go into our uh, go into our pool area once this stabilizes. Water level should rise a little bit, but it is high enough for our swimming pool, and that's exactly what we wanted. So that's looking good. Now they can come down here and attempt to build the rest of this stuff. We just don't have enough planks for everything quite yet. I'm going to... Uh, Let's go ahead and unpause all this for the sake of our sanity here. And you'll notice this, um, well, this is currently full. It can't operate. This guy actually, it didn't seem to make a difference to have uh, a pump pumping out when it's a constant flow. So this kind of doesn't need to be here. So I'm, I'm just going to pause it for now. I'm not going to delete it. But this guy can't operate at a well, hardly any rate of efficiency. Wait, hold on. Is that a new stat in this update that I've just missed? Productivity. Has this always been here? Tell me in the comments. Uh, I don't remember this being here. 87%, 76%, 20%, 0%. Oh, because this output's full. Need to have some more treated plank storage. That's something we could get to at some point. Well, now I'm interested to see exactly uh, how that improves when I have something optimized, prioritized by haulers. It's still only 7%. Is that because it doesn't have anywhere to go? Fermented cassava storage is pretty full. Kohlrabi's is, wow, that's actually getting pretty full. Mangrove fruits. We need to plant more mangroves. Mangroves, I think is the uh, the story here. So what if, what if we turned this into a little mangrove grove, mangrove grove, mangrove grove, grove mangrove? Um, yeah, and we could do a little bit of this kind of action here. I think that would end up being pretty good. We could just have a regular old, uh, regular old dam set up here. I don't think I need to worry about having a floodgate or anything. We just have it kind of naturally uh, go across. But yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be nice. Actually, we could have this connect uh, across pretty easily, and all I would have to do would be to just build an extra two levees, or I could put a platform. No, I'll just put levees there. Just have this here. Put another staircase, and look look at us, look at us making our circuitous winding paths of nonsense. But having this flooded is going to allow us to grow some more mangroves which we definitely, definitely want to be able to do. And if our guy here has access down the stairs, might actually be able to reach a couple of them. But this is a pretty tall, pretty tall thing. So, hey, since we have dynamite, guess what? We can go ahead and uh, put some here. I think that'll work nicely. And if I really felt like rebuilding this entire staircase, which I kind of don't, uh, we could set this to go down one more, maybe maybe two more and come out this side. I don't know. I don't think that's something we really need or want to do, but it's an option. And look at this. That's generating power even during the uh, mixed cycle. So that's good to see. This is waiting on metal blocks. It's almost got them. And then we can start centrifuging which is very exciting. The storage for that I uh, extract, I put all the way over here. Probably didn't need to have it all the way over there, but I'll tell you what we can do instead. We can justify having a bunch of haulers by putting in a uh, 
supply. There we go. Right there. And then prioritize that. And then I can't prioritize haulers until this is, you know, actually constructed. But we're getting close. Not that we're going to need to have decontamination pods because I don't think any of these beavers are ever going to get sick from the uh, water that they're not going into. But of course, there's other applications like our advanced dynamite uses extract. And uh, what else? What else was it that uses extract? I'm going to have to actually look at it now. Food wise, I don't think any of it does. Wood wise, it doesn't. Metal. Uh, but the metal uses dynamite, which requires bad water, not extract. Science. I wonder... No, there's no biofuel because it's iron teeth. So what use is there actually for extract if you... Uh, if you don't need it? Mud baths, no. Double showers, no. I guess it's just decontamination pods. Unless some of this stuff requires it to be built... Uh, no, it doesn't seem like that's a thing. Okay, well, now now that's kind of disappointing, actually, if none of this stuff actually requires extract, except the triple and double dynamite, which, you know, that's a cool thing that exists. I'm glad that's a thing. But it does seem kind of like, well, now what do I do? Oh, the advanced breeding pod, duh. <laughs> the whole, the whole uh, reason behind our nightmarish super efficiency projects here. All right. Well, we can go ahead and get started on this. That will be a okay. Get these guys in here. So now this, as soon as that's in, I think he should have a pretty decent range down here. And our um, forester, if I were to place this up here, that can reach there. Um, I don't want to See, now I got the problem of I don't really have anywhere good to put the forester either. Because that's not obviously going to reach anywhere. If I build it down here, then yeah, of course it can reach. But then I have to have to be able to get somebody down there. And I don't even have this built either. But this is, this is connected, so now it's uh, generating plenty of power. I need to be storing this, but I don't... <laughs> um, oh, it's because this isn't finished yet. Okay. All right, no problems there. Uh, centrifuge is, uh, that looks cool though, centrifuging. It's just too bad there's not currently another use for it besides the uh, advanced breeding pods. But now I kind of want to start replacing these now that we have the extract. So which one of these is about to uh, deliver us a beaver? I think that one's the closest, yeah. So let's keep our eye on this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and... Um, oh, or should I just research the monument? Mmm. Oh, I... I I'll tell you what. I don't have the stuff for the monument anyway. So why don't we just go ahead, research the advanced breeding pod, uh, apologize to all that is holy for the terrible things we're about to do, and create our genetically engineered weird uh, super adult beavers. And that's gone. Put this guy right here. I have to wait for treated planks and metal blocks. And then uh, as the rest of these spill out child beavers, we'll wait for the next one to give us adult beavers. Yep, and we're already already putting extract there. So, I don't know, maybe we'll get some cool mods that'll do stuff with the extract, because I, I feel like it's really limited, and there's not really that much of an incentive to actually use the extract currently. It is a brand new thing, though, so we should give the developers some time to uh, flesh it out a little bit. I'm sure we're going to get more content from it. Just waiting for this to get finished. Yeah, so these uh, need to be... Oh, oh, I know what I was missing this whole time. I was going to do all this, and then I uh, didn't, because I kind of forgot. All right, you're almost done. 
Almost done. I think at some point we probably should, you know, reduce it from 20 hour workdays. But they haven't complained yet, so I'm not particularly inclined to uh, give up that amount of labor. You know, actually, this is a good chance to uh, standardize uh, this path here. Because this hasn't even been built yet, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll place this here. Oh, of course I put the... <laughs> of course I put the path going this way. Well, we'll get rid of that too. That's not that big of a deal. I do want to uh, replace all these though. Because I think it's it's probably better to have the path uh, connected to the stairs so that the beavers can uh, easily access all that. All right. Now that is going to be... These two are actually really... These three are all like at the same time waiting for nutrients and extracts. So we should have a tank up here. All right, come on. Give me, give me some beavers here. Pretty soon we're not going to have any children beavers ever again. How do you feel about that? Kind of a really freaky dystopian, if you ask me. All right, that's gone. And pretty soon that's going to be gone. These are like identical. That's gone and that's gone. So now I can build that there. Get rid of that. Put our path there. And then just go ahead and build out here. We can have our large warehouse or or alternatively, uh, we could put a medium warehouse. Actually, that's not going to fit anything. Large warehouse it is right there. And then I will just have three little uh, containers there for extract. All set to obtain just to fill out the space. All right, and this is almost done. I am going to go ahead and take this down to 18 hours. I think that should be okay. So they have more time to fill these things up. Because they got to haul it all the way across the map currently. And there we go. Look at the well-being immediately goes up. Yep, here we go. Here's our freaky... Um, genetically modified adult-only beavers. That's terrifying. But now this actually has a purpose, which is cool. Prioritize by haulers. Prioritize by haulers. Uh, these haven't been built yet, so I can't do that. But that is going to uh, look pretty good. I just hope they don't all grow at the same time. Which they all... Well, most of them kind of, kind of are. Eh, we'll get it figured out. I'm not that worried about it. So, here we are. Approaching the end of the temperate side of cycle 14, and we should see... Oh, good. Good, good, good. They can plant a lot more mangroves than I thought. Let's get these rocking and rolling here. Uh, I can go. I think that's the full extent. Good. Good. I just hope they're able to actually, you know, harvest all this. So now we need to build a forester. That's not going to work there. So I think the only way I can actually... The uh, <laughs> only way I can get away with this is if I uh, build one of these guys here. But then he can't build over anywhere else to get these other coffee beans in place. So you know what? We're just going to have to do it this way. And have uh, have that all taken care of. Let's uh, unpause this large water wheel. Get that going. And uh, build that so they can take care of the coffee bushes. And then at least when we have two of these guys working, they can, you know, get at everything. Increase our mangrove production. And it's good to just have more water around anyway. So since that's a thing. Oh yeah, these guys don't need to be here anymore. We... Yeah, I know. Goodbye. Set that thing off. And we don't have the automation mod, so I don't need to worry about the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Stream gauge going down here. Oh, that's going to dump 
regular water. That should help us a little bit. And now what we can do instead is plant... Um, how many soybeans do I actually... I actually have a pretty good amount of soybeans. But I think we want to be able to uh, make sure that we're good to go. So if I just plant this one corner with soybeans, might be a little better. Oh, this tooth grindstone can go bye-bye as well. 25 well being very nice. I think that's where we were last episode before we uh, started redoing everything. I don't know. What else should we plant up here? All right. So a regular boring drought coming in. Uh, we will end the episode at the start of that one. But I don't know what else to plant here. I'm kind of lost, honestly. <laughs> I don't really... Uh... Why did I have two of these up here? That's a waste of space. Soybean, soybean, soybean. For right now, I guess I will just do soybeans. And we'll unplant this so we have uh, some extra space. I guess we could have some storage for um, mechanical or industry stuff up here. So we have some other, uh, other fun stuff to get into, should we feel so inclined. Later on, at least. I'm going to unplant these so they can hopefully spread naturally a little bit. But I don't think our friend can get at these, so I, yeah, I'll just I'll just mass unplant these. It doesn't really matter. It'll take them a long time anyway. Um, this is no longer flooded, so this is no longer needed, so that is gone. All right, so we'll have not a ton more mangrove trees, but that is a good uh, good start to that. we got power being generated here. It's not a ton, but it, it is helping. And we have unholy abominations of adult beavers about to be ejected from all of these breeding pods. Uh, three, three at the same time, and these uh, kind of split off from that. I don't know how to feel about that, but I mean, it kind of fits the iron teeth thing anyway. So that's fun. Uh, also, had a couple people comment that I don't need the roof pieces here because I can just uh, build platforms on top like right here and right here and hit all of them at once. So I figured that would be an easy thing to hit on the way out today. That's fine. And as a result of that, we can put in a lot more rooftop terraces. I can do, actually, I need to pause this to make sure this is doable. That is not the ideal distribution of this actually, but I can't really put anything else up here because the decontamination pods we're not going to need. Uh, wind tunnel requires power, which is not over here. Mud bath also requires 1800 science. Does that always cost 1800 science? Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. But the exercise plaza is too big to put up here, which is a shame because I think that, I think that's a hilarious, hilarious item. Um, but yeah, we can we can put that up here. Why not give them some other kind of a recreational thing? And then I just mm, I wish I had a better way to utilize this space. But uh, for right now, I just kind of don't. So I guess we'll just do this. And maybe I can put some sort of decorative thing here. We already have our, wow, our labor monument. So that's fine. Uh, other decorative stuff. Uh, braziers, we've got clocks, bells, beaver statues. I just don't want to use our science for that quite yet. Well. I guess we could be pretty uh, pretty happy with today, even if it's not the most exciting or super cool looking stuff. We did finally get a bad tide after all of that waiting, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a challenge for us, which is uh, a little bit a little bit of a letdown. Not going to lie. Uh, don't need to be too upset about that. We'll be a okay anyway. So that is going to. Bit here. I think that's the only ones they can plant. I can do two more. Uh, I need to check the range of our lumberjacks. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess right about here is probably a good spot for one. And then uh, these oak trees aren't going to uh, get planted from this one forester outside of this box. We probably want to have a second one. I just didn't want it to stay up there because that would be kind of uh, kind of a little pointless. But yeah, that is, uh, I think, a good spot to end today. 
keep it right around an hour, maybe just a hair over. Yeah, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these. Finally got our bad tide, so you know what that means. We can go back to Water Beavers tomorrow <laughs> for Water Beaver Wednesday, as our original plan indicated. But uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Folktales on Thursday, and then Friday, I kind of want to do another Ostra video, but I kind of don't. I kind of want to do another one of these. So let me know in the comments you want to see episode, what, what would that be, episode 7 of uh, Update 5? Do you want to see that on Friday? And do you want to see the videos on the weekends as well, uh, Saturday and Sunday? Because those are normally my live stream days. But if you guys want to see videos and live streams on the same day on the weekend, I don't have a problem doing that. I just have to know in advance so I can, uh, I can plan effectively. But yeah, I am uh, slowly devoting more and more time to doing this stuff to make sure you guys have uh, some interesting stuff to watch and uh, hopefully getting a little bit better at the game in the process and figuring out all sorts of fun new stuff. But yeah, very, very much look forward to all of your comments as always and uh, always welcome your feedback, even if it's just uh, to say hi or what have you. I always read the comments. Uh, I try to respond to as many as I can, but especially if we get a lot and we have been getting a lot lately, I don't always have the time, but I always appreciate it, and I do always read all of them. So I look forward to talking with you there, as well as uh, all the other fun stuff we've got coming up. So let's go ahead and power through this last night, and we'll be done. Yeah, uh, Beard Boosters make all this possible with all of their fantastic support, so I'm very, very thankful for them and for you, even if you're not part of that. Just you being here is enough, and I am thankful that we get to share this time. So as we come into our drought, we will say goodbye for today, and we'll see you in the next episode of Water Beavers tomorrow, Folk Tales on Thursday, and maybe some more of this on Friday. Let me know. Let me know what you want, and we'll see what we're able to make happen. Yep, that's it. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, have fun, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.